Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Semerauer. We start today with your health news sponsored by 4M Dental. Love your smile again. The mask mandate is coming back, and this time for everyone. Governor Steve Sisolak imposed a mandate that requires everyone to wear masks indoors in public spaces, even if they are vaccinated. The mandate takes effect at 12.01 a.m. on Friday and covers 12 of the state's 17 counties, including Clark County. It's based on new guidance from the Centers of Disease Control for places with high rates of COVID transmission. It does not apply to those participating in certain activities, including athletes and musicians. Cases of COVID-19 have been increasing in Nevada since the state dropped its pandemic restrictions on June 1st. Meanwhile, a federal surge team is hitting the streets to help people in the Las Vegas Valley get vaccinated. Review Journal's Jen Ah has this story. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Renee. About half of Nevada's population has yet to get vaccinated due to either hesitancy about the vaccine or lack of access. Here's how the FEMA surge response team is getting their attention. Oh, free COVID vaccines. Get the community. Volunteers from 30 community organizations and nonprofits are canvassing neighborhoods, leaving door hangers like this. You know, we're here truly to educate and to um, help, help folks understand where those vaccination sites are. At Governor Sisolak's request, FEMA is also helping organize pop-up vaccination clinics. We're hoping that that the residents have that familiarity um, with people that are on our volunteer team and um, that that might be helpful for uh, communicating the information to them. Their message is clear. Vaccines are safe and rigorously tested. For more information, go to nvcovidfighter.org. Renee. We continue now with your top stories brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assistant Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. A new poll finds broad support for replacing the state's presidential caucuses with primaries. OH Predictive Insights surveyed nearly 800 Nevada voters in early July. 59% of Republicans and 53% of Democrats say they favor moving to a primary. Governor Steve Sisolak signed a bill this year to officially move presidential elections to a primary system. That change will take effect in 2024. Meantime, Nevada's news organizations are asking a judge to ensure transparency and the possible execution of convicted killer Zane Floyd. The Nevada Press Association says the state's plan for the execution would limit what reporters can see and it would stop them from reporting if something goes wrong. In a separate request, the ACLU asked for a restraining order against the execution. The group has also asked that witnesses be allowed to observe Floyd during the entire execution. Floyd was sentenced to death for killing four people in a grocery store in 1999. However, state and federal judges have issued stays of execution in the case. Now here is the latest in sports. Golden Knights fans were heartbroken after goaltender Marc-Andre Fleury was traded to the Chicago Blackhawks Tuesday. The Review Journal was able to speak with a few of those looking to grab one last memento of the current Vezina Trophy recipient and future Hall of Famer, at the Arsenal gift shop inside City National Arena. It's, it's sad. I understand business side of it and everything, but it's still hard pill to swallow sometimes. After the shooting that happened, that first night of the game, that was so cool to watch, watch him talk that night. Um, and he really just kind of let us be his home. He said he wanted to retire here, which was really, really painful. That's something he said a couple years ago, and that hurt. But he's not even going to get that chance anymore. He's been in the heart of our team. He's been the face of our team since the very beginning. I'm just sad there wasn't a way to work it out. Now it's time to take a look at your local weather forecast sponsored by One Hour Air. No matter the season, no matter the reason, One Hour Air is here for you. Mostly sunny and hot for your Wednesdays. Highs will hit near 105 degrees. Light winds coming from the southeast. Tonight, lows will be around 86 degrees. For the rest of the week, 106 by Thursday. Mostly sunny sky conditions until Thursday night, where those rain and thunderstorm chances return for the rest of the week. Highs in the upper 90s. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. If you're still looking for work, Caesars Entertainment would like to talk to you. The company is looking for 500 guest room attendants to staff the nine resorts in Las Vegas. Now, applicants must be 18 years or older, and they can earn up to $1,000 in bonuses. 
Caesars will be conducting interviews this Thursday from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Employment Center at Bally's Las Vegas. If you're interested, you need to fill out an application in advance, and you can do that by visiting caesars.com careers. In your lifestyle news, sponsored by Oakmont of Las Vegas Assistant Living and Memory Care, the best care for the best life, 10 miles south of Pahrump, desert tortoises are dying after being moved to make room for a new solar farm. More than 130 of the reptiles were moved to Stump Springs in May. That was to make room for the Yellow Pine Solar Project. In a span of a few weeks, 30 of them were killed, possibly by badgers. So conservationists are advocating for developers rather than developing within the Mojave Desert to actually go closer into, into the town where they can be put onto commercial rooftops and um, or advocating for the government to incentivize individual homeowners to have rooftop solar panels rather than developers themselves. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The U.S. women's soccer team is the plus 150 favorite at the Westgate to win Olympic gold heading into the quarterfinals. The U.S. finished second in its group after playing to a 0-0 draw with Australia early Tuesday. Great Britain is the second choice at plus 350, followed by Sweden at 5-1 and the Netherlands at 7-1. The U.S. was minus 225 before the tournament began, but struggled in a 3-0 opening loss to Sweden. The U.S. will meet the Netherlands in the quarterfinals early Friday. In your entertainment news, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada, a late night dance production is coming to the Strat. The show I Illuminate opens August 26th at the Strat Theater. Tickets go on sale now. The show is a glow-in-the-dark mix of dance and comedy. It became famous in 2011 during the run of America's Got Talent. The company has also performed in places like New York, Mexico, and Hong Kong. Illuminate was supposed to have a residency last year at Planet Hollywood, but those plans were derailed by COVID-19. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have Amazon Fire TV, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From all of us here at the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.